Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Australian Report. We'll just be covering the ASX in uh, long term and uh, short term and intraday. And on the weekly chart here, because it's uh, Monday, just starting uh, from the outset here. So we're looking at uh, wave four here and we're moving up into wave five here on the weekly chart. We're looking at this in terms of one and two and three and four and five for wave one and wave two here and then one and ABC for two and three and four and then we're moving up into five of the third wave here. This would also be in line with the DAX and the S&P 500 and once this is completed here then we'll be looking for wave four here then wave four five here. Uh, the US markets may not um, uh, have finished uh, either just yet here as this one hasn't but it does appear that the DAX may have uh, uh, completed its high so we're getting close but we're not quite close not quite there yet um, so let's drill in from this minor wave 4 to minor wave 5 of intermediate wave 3 here uh, on the next smaller degree which is the daily chart here so we're looking for five waves up from wave 4 here um, up to wave uh, 5 here and we're looking at this as wave 1 plonked in there and wave 2 in here a bit small to see wave 3 and 4 here and we're looking for wave 5 here so from this wave 4 we're looking for 5 waves to the upside I'm thinking that we could uh, you know we could actually extend up to 6200 here I'm not quite sure about that yet um, but uh, let's just take each wave uh, as it uh, unfolds so we can get some idea of perspective. So from this wave four here, we're looking at one and two and three and four. And from this wave four here, minute degree, we're looking at one and two. And looking all of this here as wave three here, not completed yet, then wave four and then wave five here. So this is what we've got left here uh, based on the four hour chart. And then we'll see I mean, from this wave three here being completed, uh, it's wave four, if I can just grab that, uh, would be looking down at the wave four of one lesser degree. So quite a big drop really down to this level here or thereabouts. So um, yeah, um, let's drill in a little bit further here on the one hour chart and uh, look at this uh, this trend here and, and this part here as well. So on the one hour chart, we're looking, we squash it in here. So from this wave four here, the blue wave four, the minute degree, we're looking at one and two here. And then we're really getting this extension in the third wave here, the third wave, oops, a daisy here, um, of this one here. So we're looking at this here as wave one and two here. And then the extensions in wave three here again, which is one and two and three and four. It doesn't look like it here very well as five waves, but when we go to smaller degrees, it, it pans out very nicely as five waves. So from wave four to wave five here of wave three, and then we're looking from wave three, we're looking for 38.2% retracement level. It has dropped lower than the 38.2% retracement level, but it has dropped to the exact same level as the previous wave four of one lesser degree. So uh, that's where we are now. Now um, now we're looking for a move up here in, in five waves, making a new high above uh, this wave three here. So wave three, four, and five here. I don't have, the, the thing here is that um, from the low here, moving up here, I only have three waves up so far, which is corrective. So it's possible that this can move down from here and I've made a mistake somewhere. What I do need to confirm uh, the move up here is I need to see five waves up here, the first impulse wave. We've got one and two and three, we'll need four and five. We'll go over that in a bit more detail, but I just want to point out that it's not confirmed that we're going to move up here just yet because I don't have five waves in this first leg here. Um, but while we're here, um, we're looking from wave four to wave five, then an ABC pattern back to wave four that can also drop back to the wave four of one lesser degree here as well. I've just kept it a little bit higher, um, but we'll, we'll, we'll work that out when it, um, when it plays out here. Then wave five here of five of five of five of three here. Um, so just on the tick chart here on 100 ticks and picking up uh, I'll 
our little structure here, so this is 100 ticks, and we can see the five waves in here much clearer now as one and two and three and four and five here, just to clarify that. <clears throat> and now we need to look at this as an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave down to the wave four of one lesser degree here, um, and, now moving <clears throat> and now moving up from that point. So in that case, we're looking for wave four here, we're looking for one, two, three, four, five, for wave five of three, then the ABC pattern for wave four here. Um, but let's just drill into the, um, the 10 tick chart here. This is 100, so just into 10, just to uh, move into this space here. So from, I don't need to open it up any more than that really. Um, so from wave B here down to um, uh, wave five of C of four here, we're looking for five waves up here. Now the thing is, I don't know if we're going to get them. It, it does. A, it looks like we will because we've got a nice wave one here in five waves, and wave three is is very strong here. So wave four can pull back to the thirty eight point two percent retracement level of wave there. So that's it there. So we're pretty much we're pretty that much there already with this with this pullback for little wave four here. It may get a little bit complicated. I haven't actually pulled that apart. It may. I can't draw on that side here. I'll just have a quick look in here. Um, yes, well, that's the top for that one. Um, yeah, it does seem to have an A, B, C in here because I can see one, two, three, four, five here. So we may have it. I may should be able to put that in 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 play here. And um, the thing here now is that we'll be looking for wave five up here, and just pull these across here. Once we get five, see this is also group one here too, isn't it, of 6,000. So one, two, and three make up group one, so be mindful of that. So we're looking for, I can't draw on this side of the price, but we're looking for wave five to the upside, uh, and then an A and a B uh, and a C wave to come into play here. Um, from that top here, um, back down to 6,010, that, that would be roughly the 61.8% mark, but you can work that out when you get the high here. Um, so really, there's a couple of things that you need to just be aware of here in terms of uh, strategy is that um, if, 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 if right, we're looking for one, two, three, four, five. Now, if we get those five waves up here, if we get five waves in the opposite direction of the trend, which has been down, if we get five waves here, then we could be pretty. We could be assured that we're going to get one, a an A, B, and a C for a corrective pattern. May not pull all this way down. It might just sit on the two here. So be mindful of that. Um, but if we get five waves here, that means we're going to get uh, another five waves over here. Okay. So the thing to do here is once we've got our first high, and if you can't work the A, B, C pattern out here, that's okay. Um, you'll be looking for tested support on top of group one, which will be the 30 here. If you get support on top of that, then um, go long there and keep the stop under the last uh, low here, which will be wave two at this point. Um, if I'm wrong here, and for whatever reason the market moves up and then uh, moves down and finds the 6,000 as a tested resistance, well then you need to be looking for short trades at that point, okay? But you all, always wait for um, the move through it and then back up for the retest and then your entry becomes this low here and if the retest fails at 6,000 and moves down and gets triggered well then you've got half a silly chance of that trend con continuing here it's the breakouts in or the breakthrough the breakouts important but the retest is just as important if not more important um, as part of the setup to move lower from that spot from that part there. We also expect the banks to move up uh, higher. We'll have just have a look at one here. Uh, Westpac would be one. So this is our count for Westpac. I do need to note too that um, with all of these moves up from the banks here, we could have a much more complicated uh, correction occurring uh, as well uh, with all of these. So just need to be uh, mindful. So this wave one can be an A wave and a B wave and a C wave up here as I've got here. Um, 
the reason for that is is that wave fours can get rather complicated and because we're expecting the US and the and the European markets and the UK market which has a relationship with this um, to go into into another correction it just could possibly make this wave four here of primary degree much more complicated so we could end up with uh, yeah just a much more complicated uh, correction I won't go into that right now but for the short term here this move here is is uh, corrective so we should see this move uh, to the upside here further uh, I think these guys pay dividends um, all paying dividends um, ANZ and Westpac should be paying dividends last Friday um, but I mean, you better double check that if you're going to trade that today anyway but um, the pattern that we're, fit, we're looking at here doesn't appear to be finished yet that's the main point so this will be in line with the uh, ASX 200 as well alrighty uh, thanks for tuning in cheers